Hi, welcome to lecture two of types of attachment and um, the strange situation scenario. We're going to be focusing on how to apply our knowledge to examination questions. As these are all the questions that have been asked about types of attachment since 2009. Okay, so the strange situation can be used to identify a child's attachment type. Explain how the behaviour of a child showing insecure avoidant attachment type will be different from the behaviour of a child showing insecure resistant attachment type. Okay, so if you remember back at my um, previous lecture, lecture two, um, we looked at what the different types of attachment was. So, were. So, insecure avoidance, the key words you'll be using there is that they largely ignore their primary caregiver upon reunion and they have a high exploration behaviour. So you're talking about two bits of information for each type of attachment type. Whereas insecure resistant, um, you can say, for example, um, they quite um, they seek and reject their caregiver upon reunion. And another thing you can say about them as well that they have low um, willingness to explore the environment. So just make sure you write two bits for each type of attachment type, and that should be enough for four marks. Um, evaluate the strange situation as a method for investig investigating types of attachment. Now you can use one evaluation point, so it can be either be strength or um, a limitation, and you can expand on it for your full four marks, or you can use two and briefly talk, so very briefly talk about it. So you can say, for example, um, you can say the issues of laboratory experiments and how it may be lacking um, ecological validity because um, it wasn't done in a naturalised environment, so people to change, um, parent, mother and parents would have changed their behaviour. Or you can talk about um, ethics, for example, um, putting children under dis um, mild distress is a that might cause them psychological harm. So however you do it, just be aware of the marks that if you use one, elaborate, give an example, or if you just use two briefly, and then that should be enough for your four marks. A researcher used a strange situation to investigate the attachment types of two infants. Megan was classified as insecure avoidant. Rosie was classified as insecure resistant. Explain how Megan's behaviour would differ from, um, differ from Rosie's behaviour in a strange situation. Again, it's an application question, so you need to talk about Megan and Rosie's behaviour. Okay, so Megan, um, insecure avoidant, you can say that Megan will... Um, ignore her caregiver upon reunion and have a high exploration rate whereas Rosie she would be she would probably seek and reject her caregiver so she'd be quite oblivion and then she would also have a low willingness to explore compared to Megan. Um, give one limitation of the use of the strange situation in attachment research so one limitation could be the fact that it was done in a lab um, so um, people, um, the parents could have changed their behaviour, their responsiveness towards the parent and um, towards the infant, or you can talk about um, the fact that um, it was only middle class infants in America that they used it, so we can't generalise it. Or you could talk about ethics in terms of causing a baby psychological harm. So whatever you talk about, just give them two bits of information about the issue you talk um, you spoke about, and that should be enough. Right, Sam and Dan are both 12 months old. They are observed separately in Ainsworth's strange situation. Sam is slightly upset when his mother leaves, but Dan is very upset and cries loudly. In a table below, identify the type of attachment suggested by the behaviour of each child. So I'll say that Sam is probably securely attached, simply because securely attached kids, they do get upset, but they, they are quite easy to soothe. Whereas Dan, he's very upset and cries loudly. So I would say he's probably an insecure resistant because insecure resistant children, they do get very, very distressed when their primary caregiver leaves, leaves the room. Now, so Sam's and Dan's behaviour was then observed when the mother's returned. Give one example of the behaviour that each child would be likely to show. So we said Sam, Sam was a secure attachment. So Sam will be happy on, um, re, um, on re, re, reuniting with his primary caregiver. Whereas Dan, for example, may seek and reject her as his primary caregiver. So make sure, make sure you use those keywords in your answer. Anya has a 10-month-old son called Ben. Anya sometimes ignores Ben. So I would write here, I would just put underline or something, ignores, because to me, that just seems like um, Ben will probably be um, insecure avoidant and does not respond when he cries. 
yeah, so she's quite insensitive to her son's needs. However, when Anya feels like playing with Ben, she wakes him up even if he's sounding, sound, um, soundly sleeping. Now, that's changed the story a bit because I would have originally thought because she ignores him, Ben will be avoidant. But she does actually play with Ben and um, sometimes. So what type of attachment is Ben likely to show? Explain your answer. I would say Ben is more likely to show insecure resistance simply because she keeps changing her behaviour. Sometimes she ignores him and sometimes she plays with him and she really loves him. Um, it's not going to be insecure avoidance simply because she doesn't ignore him all the time. There are some times when she actually does pay attention to him. So you need to explain um, why Ben is more likely to show that behaviour because of the way Anya is so um, sometimeish with him. Um, explain how psychologists could investigate Ben's attachment type using Ainsworth's strange situation. So, for example, you could talk about they can be going to a laboratory where they can have um, scenarios where Ben is left alone and a stranger comes in to see how Ben will react. And they can also observe and see how we react when his mother comes back. Yeah. So very briefly for free marks, you just basically do a very brief um, a counter of the strange situation scenario. Right, Mary Ainsworth studied insecure and secure attachments in infants by using a strange situation. Describe how Ainsworth studied types of attachments. So here you need to, because it's described, you need to do your aims, procedures, findings and conclusions. So what she wanted to find out, what they done, so the M-O-M-S-S-S, -S -S, so the mother and child comes in, other stranger comes in, um, interacts with the mother and child, then um, they swap, etc. Yes, yeah, so you need to make sure you describe that fully and the findings as well. Okay. Some people say that Ainsworth studies lack validity. So validity refers to truth and accuracy. How accurate is their finding? How accurate are their findings? Is it truthful? Yeah, explain this criticism. So aims with study, you could talk about ecological validity. That is in terms of being inside a laboratory setting, which is very, very artificial. You could talk about population validity, which is generally that they just use 100 middle class American citizens and you're not able to generalize to other people. Yeah, so any of those validities will be fine. Ainsworth identified different types of attachment in children including secure and insecure attachment. Identify two characteristics of an insecurely attached child. Notice there that they, they didn't put the differences, whether they want insecure resist, resistant or insecure avoidant. They just said insecurely. So whichever one you put is fine. The characteristic, characteristic one you can use ignores caregiver. Characteristic two could be seeks and rejects caregiver on return. That would be absolutely fine. Um, Ainsworth and Bell observed infants in an unfamiliar room to assess the quality of their attachment to their mother. Observations during this strange situation related to the following categories of behaviour. So they looked at exploration, how much the infant explored the unfamiliar room. Separation behaviour, how the infant reacted when the mother left. And then stranger anxiety, the response of the infant to a stranger. Reunion behaviour, how the infant reacted when the mother returned. So select two of these categories and, and explain how the behaviour of a securely attached infants, of securely attached infants and insecurely attached infants will be different in a strange situation. So I'll probably just pick the first two because they're easier. So in terms of exploration, I would say I'll separate it because it's two, it's two marks plus two marks. For my first two marks, I'll be talking about exploration behaviour. So straight a securely attached child will have a high willingness need to explore, whereas an insecure attached um, child would, um, so an insecure resistant child would not have a high willingness to explore. Okay, that's that bit done. Then I'll go into for my second, um, my second two marks of the lot. I'll look at separation behaviour. I'll be like a securely attached child will be upset when they, um, their caregiver leaves them, but will be quite easy to soothe, whereas an insecure resistant child will be very, very distressed and very difficult to soothe when a, pair, when a caregiver leaves. Um, briefly explain why some children show characteristics of secure and some characteristics of insecure attachments. So I would say um, 
um, it's all about the parent's sensitivity. That would be a good question. So how the parent responds to the child's needs. That's why some kids are secure and some kids are insecure. Okay, and that is the end of lecture 2A. Um, join me again for lecture 3 when we're going to be looking at cultural variations and attachment.